The UK has the safest electrical plug in the world. For most of us Brits, it's a rather mundane object you've never really paid much attention to. It's just there. It does a job and that's about as far as your thought ever goes. Or for anyone in the trade, it's a BS1363 plug. That stands for British Standard and it's number 1363. This is a set of standards of manufacturing that all plugs made for use in the UK has to follow. In those standards, there are a whole load of special design features that make it the safest plug in the world. Let's start off by having a look inside a plug. On the bottom left we have the neutral, on the right we have the live, and at the top we have the earth or the ground. This is known as the safety conductor. In normal operation this isn't carrying any kind of power. But in the event that something goes catastrophically wrong in the appliance, let's say your toaster for example, and the metal body of the toaster has electricity flowing through it, the earth or the ground cable is connected from the plug through the cable to the metal body of the toaster. And because electricity always takes the path of least resistance, the electricity flows back through the earth cable back to the consumer unit and trips the circuit off, saving you from touching it and completing that circuit through your body and into the ground. Whilst we're looking at the plug itself, it's worth mentioning that it's pretty much the only one in the world that is fused in the plug. This little ceramic safety feature keeps you safe from too much current going through the cable, which would cause it to catch fire. This is because after World War II there was a copper shortage, and so to save copper, they decided to put a fuse in every appliance's plug and wire the house as one big circuit, rather than having lots of runs of cable going out to each socket and a separate fuse on each. This ended up being a lot safer, but because the fuse is on the live wire, you need to make sure the pins go into the right socket on the wall in order for it to work properly. This is where the shape and the layout of the pins come into play. It's impossible to put the plug into the socket the wrong way around because of its unique triangular layout. You've probably also noticed on the plug that the live and neutral pins have a special coating on them. This is an insulation layer, which means that when the plug isn't quite all the way in or out of the wall outlet, unlike other plugs in other countries, yes America, I'm looking at you, if something was to touch the pins, this insulation covering stops you or whatever's touching it from getting an electric shock. While we're looking at the pins, you'll also notice that the earth pin or the safety pin is ever so slightly longer than the two main conductors. This is another clever little design feature. Take a look at a standard wall socket, you'll see that there's a gate protecting the main conductors which is where the danger is. This stops people or children from sticking things into the holes and getting a shock. The earth pin is slightly longer than the main conductors because this goes into the socket first and when that pin goes in, it opens the gate to the main conductors and allows them to slide in and complete the circuit. So you'd have to be a pretty inventive child in order to get anything inside. Another clever little feature you've probably never thought about is inside the plug top. At the bottom there's a cable grip which holds the cable in place. This is quite clever in its layout because in the event of this wire getting a bit of a tug and the cable grip fails, the first two wires that become disconnected are the dangerous ones, the live and the neutral, which means that electricity doesn't go down the cable and nobody gets hurt. So there we have it. The UK might have built a lot of rubbish in our time, but we're pretty much the best when it comes to electrical safety. Thanks for watching Science and Stuff with me, Dr. Adam Green. I'm not a real doctor, but I don't mind having a look for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe. Don't smash the subscribe button, just press it gently. Thanks!